For those of you who claimed that Tesla's new 4680 battery cells weren't revolutionary, that Tesla was lying, I've heard a lot of people say this, well, egg is now on your face because we now have the numbers. We now have the facts. Turns out the 4680 battery cell was as good as advertised. Maybe, maybe even better. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. I'm back in Melbourne, Australia, as you can see. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. I'll put a link in the description below to our Facebook group. If you want to jump on the group, you're welcome to join in. Now, what am I talking about here? Well, no one really knew until today just how efficient Tesla's new Model Y with structural battery pack, Giga Castings, and 4680 battery cells were. In fact, they were saying, oh, it's only a 279 mile range, therefore it's crap. I told you Tesla was lying. I told you, I told you, I told you. Tesla just lies. Elon Musk just lies, lies, lies. It's all he does. Lies. And, you know, I sound ridiculous, but the truth is I'm just repeating what I've read hundreds of times and glanced over. I wouldn't say read in deep, but read in many, many places. Electric, yep, you said it. Inside EVs, yeah, you guys said it as well. Yeah, I've seen it in mainstream places, not just punters saying this stuff. People just, they just said, the 4680 battery cell, well, if the Tesla Model Y only has a range of 279 miles, therefore it must suck. It doesn't suck. In fact, it's the most efficient electric production vehicle in the history of mankind. This, my friends, is a watershed moment in the history of EVs. Three new production techniques have been used. In fact, more, but three basic groupings of new production techniques have been used in this car. And in fact, the battery pack is very small for the range, incredibly small. For a car this size, I mean, looking at its competition, it's truly revolutionary. The fact that it has a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack giving this car 280 miles of range in an all-wheel drive version of the car that is so far ahead of the competition, they're not even close. You know, you guys, I've received an email today saying, oh, just because you're buying a BYD, you're in love with Chinese cars and you, you can't think rationally. Well, what am I saying here, right? Is Tesla manufacturing the 4680 cell in China? No. Are they manufacturing this particular vehicle right now in China? No. It's at the Gigafactory in Texas. And I'm telling you now, this vehicle is, it's a moment in history where we'll look back and say that was the first of its kind. Because Chinese automakers have started to copy Tesla now, haven't they? They've started to say we need greater energy density. Lots of the battery companies are working hard on that, as you know. Tesla is forcing them to lift their game. Tesla, not Volkswagen, not Ford, not General Motors, not Nissan, not whoever car brand you have a particular loving for, not even probably BYD. The reality is Tesla is clearly leading the industry. 280 miles of range from a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack, the size of this car. I mean, I just watched the car wow video comparing the Tesla Model Y with the Audi sort of comparable sized version of their electric car. The boot of this Tesla Model Y is huge. The interior is big. It's a lot bigger than you would think. The fact that they're getting this kind of range from a battery pack of this size is absolutely groundbreaking. 4680 cells and the structural battery pack and, you know, using giga castings are seen as the holy grail of EV manufacture, of EV adoption. According to Tesla's battery day presentation, all the cell chemistry, design and manufacturing and advancements that come with the 4680 cells amount to a 56% improvement in cost per kilowatt hour and a 69% reduction in capital expenditure. And many people are saying all this stuff was lies. Well, now we know it wasn't lies. Now we know. It is going to be objectively true that this will be the most profitable vehicle in the history of electric cars up until this point in time. There will be more that will be more profitable than this vehicle. But right now, this will be the most profitable vehicle in the world based on how much it costs for Tesla to manufacture it and how much they can sell it for. I mean, they're putting in less batteries in this car than any other car this size they've made before. They're selling it for more money. And people will line up to buy this car. 
That's the reality. They are now, and they will continue to do so in the future. Right now, Tesla's margins are higher than anyone else in the automotive industry. They've just gone from being the best to beating themselves, being the best again. How on earth does any legacy auto company compete with that? How can General Motors compete with that? Tell me, by using Altium buzzwords? Is that how they're going to compete with it? Just buzzwords? Like marketing terminology? Please. The other thing to remember is the 4680 cells are also better for the environment due to a new Tesla pioneered lithium extraction and mining technique, dry electrode formation, and the use of a silicon anode, and many more breakthroughs. Now, I know people were disappointed with the fact that the range was only 280 miles. I was as well. But Tesla are going to make a boatload of profit on these vehicles. And I don't see how anyone in the US now can have any hope of competing with them to get almost the range that GM will get with their Cadillac Lyric using a 100 kilowatt hour battery. I know some of you have emailed me saying, um, Viking, they're, they're different cars. They're, they're different sizes. Actually, they're not really. The interior space on the Cadillac Lyric is very similar to the Tesla Model Y. How look it up. That Cadillac Lyric, it looks great, right? But it has a very long bonnet. It's not a very practical car. It's extremely heavy. It's more than two and a half tons. The Model Y weighs 1,900 kilos. as a 600 kilogram weight advantage. All that comes down to the fact that the energy density in this battery is higher. Therefore, they're able to use a smaller pack. It's got a structural pack. It's got giga castings, lowers the weight, 600 kilos lighter. You're getting almost the range of the Lyric with half the size of the battery pack, the most expensive part of the car. If Tesla wanted to, I think they could reduce the price down to $45,000 US with these and still make a good profit on every single car. Now, here's what Holmar's catalog tweeted back on the 14th of April. He said, some people have asked why the first Model Y with 4680 cells has a structural pack, but less range. This is because Tesla chose to start with a version that has a smaller pack, less energy capacity than the existing long range. Long range 4680 Model Y is coming in the future too. So, I mean, what's the long range version going to have? Imagine if they added 20 kilowatt hours of batteries to this version. Imagine they went from 50 to 70. The range then theoretically could be up over 400 miles. That's crazy. Now, how do we know the actual size of the Model Y battery pack? Today, a YouTube channel called Spoken Reviews was able to get their hands on the refreshed Model Y, and according to the host, the Texas-built Model Y has a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack. In comparison to other vehicles in the Model Y segment, such as the Mustang Mach-E, Mercedes EQC, and the Audi e-tron, they all have EPA ranges, at least in their standard models, below 250 miles. But the battery pack sizes are 70 to 82 kilowatt hours. So they're all similar sizes, right? I mean, the Audi e-tron has a much smaller interior, but anyway, let's leave that aside. Look at the battery pack sizes, right? 70 to 82 kilowatt hour, and they're getting less range than the Tesla Model Y. So imagine the cost to Ford, to Mercedes, to Audi to manufacture those cars is significantly higher than the cost of Tesla. And yet Tesla can sell a vehicle, right? for the same amount of money with a much smaller battery pack. And there's not going to be anything these companies can do for a long time to match that. In fact, it might never even happen for them. I don't know. Now, some people are speculating that this new Tesla pack is actually bigger than 50 kilowatt hour, but it's been software limited to 50 kilowatt hour in order to enable Tesla to provide people with the option to pay more money, right? To get the vehicle unlocked. So in other words, Tesla's going to say once you bought the car in a few months, oh, did you know your battery pack's actually 60 kilowatt hour? If you want, you can pay an extra five, 10,000, whatever dollars to unlock the full capacity. And now you might be thinking this is weird. It is weird, but Tesla actually has done this before. They use the same strategy with the Tesla Model S. They used to sell a 60 kilowatt hour Model S that could be upgraded to 75 kilowatt hours. So in other words, that vehicle actually came with 75 kilowatt hours, but had been software locked to 60. So why did Tesla start producing this vehicle with such a small pack? 
Well, I think realistically the reason was because if this car had, say, 70 kilowatt hour pack and it gave the vehicle 400 plus miles of range, which is what it could do, so even 75 kilowatt hour pack almost definitely would have 400 plus miles of range. But everyone would be saying, scrap my order. I don't want the old Tesla Model Y. Get rid of that. I want the new one. So by Tesla offering a product with less range than the current model for a similar price, they can throttle demand for the new one. Then once customers have had the car for a few months, they can start making more money off them by unlocking that software with that bigger pack, if there is a bigger pack, as people are speculating. And this would prevent potentially people scrapping their old order for their old or the older version of this car in order to just buy the new one en masse. Regardless, it doesn't matter. This is a game changer vehicle. This vehicle will change the industry. This just shows you how far Tesla is ahead of the competition. I just listed the competition. I listed the Audi e-tron, right? The Ford Mustang Mach-E, Mercedes, EQC, three similar vehicles, 70 to 82 kilowatt hour packs, less range than this car with a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack. That, my friends, is how Tesla does it. And that won't be changing for a very long time. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. What do you think about Tesla's advantage? I mean, people have been saying their advantage has been eroding. I don't think it has. I think this proves it. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. Bye-bye.